Welcome to section two of our Breathing Pattern Disorder Workshop for Long Covid. If you haven't already, please watch sessions 1.1 to 1.5, which explain the groundwork for the things we'll be building on across session two. Hopefully, at this point, you've had a chance to assess your own breathing pattern and know whether you are breathing from your diaphragm or your upper chest, and whether you are breathing through your nose or through your mouth. Apical versus diaphragmatic breathing. This graphic demonstrates how effective breathing with your upper chest is when compared to breathing with your diaphragm. The graphic on the left shows how far the air travels into the lungs when you use the muscles around your neck and upper chest to breathe. The graphic on the right shows the air travelling right down into the smaller airways when you use your diaphragm to breathe, allowing you to take a more effective breath. Breathing retraining in lying. The muscles in our neck and upper rib cage are also called the accessory muscles and help us take a larger breath in when our bodies are in need of it, such as when we are about to exercise and whilst exercising, or when we get stressed or perceive a danger. It is at this time that we switch from nose breathing to mouth breathing to be able to get air into our lungs more quickly. Remember that our accessory muscles use between 10 and 30% of our body's energy and are designed to only work for short periods of time, not like our diaphragm, which works 24-7 and only uses about 2% of body energy. Exercises that slowly build up in intensity also slowly build up our body's need for extra energy and allow us to continue nose breathing with diaphragmatic breathing. Exercises like yoga or walking will be less tiring than aerobic exercise or weights as we are less likely to use our short-acting, quick-tiring accessory muscles.